What is going on guys, it is Drakesy back again with another episode of the Manchester United career mode. Now if you have been following this, you will know that this is episode 3. So if you haven't checked out episode 1 and 2, be sure to go and check them out in the comments section below. Or there may even be a link on screen for you to go to that now. Uh, but if you have seen those two episodes and you are now up to episode 3, hi and welcome. And guys, I hate to do it, but we're going to have to start off with some pretty bad news. And it is a bit of a shame, I don't want to start anything with bad news, but that bad news is that I have actually filmed this whole section and much further on into the future uh, of this career mode until something happened. Uh, and that was, I filmed 30 minutes worth and then the footage that I got was corrupt. So that meant that I had to scrap that whole bit and then this is the earliest save I could find. But sadly, as you may be able to see from the table below, um, I haven't actually managed to save all of it. Guys, I'm going to skip to the calendar and show you something. As you can see here, we absolutely got smashed. That's right. We played Tottenham in the first game of the season and we got smashed 4-1 at home. The game started off with Juan Mata scoring an absolutely beautiful goal. Um, curved it, I think it was a finesse, bottom left-hand corner of the goal. Great, great start off. And then out of there, Tottenham came out the blocks. Harry Kane scored, Huming Son scored, Dembele scored a goal, and Eric Lamella scored a goal. Like I was saying, this is the earliest save I can get, and it's after the Tottenham game. So I really am sorry, guys. I'm going to try and make sure that this doesn't happen again, but we have missed the opening game of the season. Luckily, it was a bad game, but we have missed it. But now moving on, the good thing I suppose is number one, we don't have to watch me get thrashed on the opening game of the season, but number two, I can actually follow your comments. So that is something that I did want to do guys and I couldn't do last episode because I filmed it right after episode two. But now I am filming it after because that footage is corrupt, I can now look at some of your comments. So we're going to go into some of your comments that you have said in the comments section below from the past one. And we're going to start off with the comment from the YouTube account, C6 Gamers again. They commented last episode, and as you can see on your screens now, they commented back to me asking who should I buy in the left wing, in the right wing position and the right back position. And as you can see, they have said Hector Bellerin and Victor, and is that Andrade? I think that's Andrade. Uh, Victor Andrade for the right wing position. Now, two very, very good guys, and we're actually going to go to them in-game and scout them. So let's get to that. So guys, we have come to the first suggestion, and that was Hector Bellerin in the right back position. Now, I was actually going to go after a player named Fabinho. Now, I do know Fabinho has very good potential. He's a player who plays for Monaco, and you may have seen him in the past. But when I did actually inquire for him, they inquired back with a price of a price label or a price tag of around 50 million so maybe we won't be going for him but we are definitely going to try and scout and hopefully get Hector Bellerin into the team so very good suggestion and let's get him scouted and maybe a little inquiry as well and here is the second suggestion this is Victor Andrade now Victor Andrade Andre, Andre I called him a completely different name then, but this is Victor Andre. Um, now, we're going to actually scout him at the moment because, as you can see, he is out on loan at a different team. I believe that is a Brazilian team. I'm not going to try and pronounce that name because I'm going to slaughter it, but his actual home team that he does originally come from is Benfica. So maybe when he goes back to his first team, uh, of Benfica next season we can hopefully go back in for this guy the next suggestion was actually put in by another YouTube account and as you can see that is up on your screen um, his name is Jordan as you can see Jordan Williams I believe it is um, and he asked me to keep in Smalling into the first team he doesn't want to see Swalling, Swalling? Smalling rotating out of the team as much as he was doing so hopefully we can agree to that but we're just gonna have to see if Rojo starts putting in the shifts and any other players that we have in the squad, take for example Blind, then he may have to get swapped out. But I'll try and keep him in as much as we can, seeing as though he is putting in pretty good performances in the pre-season friendlies, keeping a few clean sheets, but 4-1 against Tottenham, guys, it was horrendous, horrendous. I'm glad you have to miss it. Now let's move on to the next suggestion. The next suggested player, again, comes from the same YouTube account as the last comment, and that was Jordan Williams again. And he put in the comment saying that he would like to see me possibly and potentially buy Inaki Williams, the right winger from Atletico Bilbao. Now, we're going to definitely put in a scout on him, and we're also going to do another inquiry, and hopefully, if he is within budget, I know this guy has great potential of around 85 to 86, 
We can hopefully get him into the squad, guys. And the last player that has come in that somebody wants me to buy who was a viewer last episode, that is Matthew Brown's suggestion. As you can see up on your screen, he wanted me to look at the player Sergio Roberto. Is it Sergio Roberto? Not Sergio Roberto. Uh, Sergio Roberto. As you can see, he's a Barcelona player. I believe he has actually come up through the Youth Academy. He's 23 years old. He is a centre mid, but he can and I believe does actually in real life play right back and he's a very good right back for them. So we're going to give this guy a scout. We're also giving him an inquiry and hopefully could get him in at the right back spot in our team if he fits in there. So that is the last of all the suggestions given in by you guys last episode. Thank you very much for your help and your suggestions that you give in. But make sure to get yours down in the comment section below. And I'm just going to cover a few players that I would like to possibly sign now. Now guys, of course, we're going to go and have a look at Harry Kane. Now this hasn't been suggested as I just mentioned, but this is actually one that I would really like to sign. Manchester United are actually scouting this guy in real life, but as you can see, he is still at Tottenham, and he is a Tottenham lad, I believe, through and through. Uh, there is an image of him actually wearing an Arsenal shirt when he is a kid. I'm going to flash that up on screen now, as you can see. But I believe he has been born and bred a Tottenham fan for a good amount of his life. Um, and when the papers have come to him and journalists have asked him about potential moves away from Tottenham, he said he's happy at Tottenham for now and he actually is enjoying his football and he loves the club. So in potential real life, we are going in for him, but most likely won't get him. Hopefully in game, we can possibly get this guy as he is a good clinical young English striker. That is going to be probably the last one. I don't want to put in too many suggestions, guys, because I do want you to build this squad along with me. So, we're going to skip a few days and hopefully get into our first game of us actually watching the game. So, I've simmed a few more days into the season and as we can see, we've not played a game yet, but we have actually got a scouting update on Toliso. As you can see, Toliso is here. He's 75 rated and 21 years old. So, guys, if you do think that is a good, good look at a player... Um, then make sure to actually get in and say you want us to sign Taliso, but I do believe we have better potential out there. Like the player we signed last episode, which is Yori Tielmans, and he is 76 rated and only 18 years old. So he's a higher rating and much younger by about three years. So Taliso is good, but is he the quality that we're going for? The guy next to him is the guy I mentioned before, and this is that Fabinho that I was quoted 50 million for. At right back position so hopefully we can find a better right back elsewhere than Fabinho. Guys huge news I'm so excited guys huge news has just come through and this is exactly what we needed after a massive defeat from Tottenham it's a signing of Amaric Laporte now I couldn't get it as far back before the Tottenham game as I wanted to but we did actually put in for Laporte and guys it's been accepted so we're going to go ahead with accepted and we're actually going to confirm the deal of Amaric Laporte which was a suggestion from one of you guys watching at home so this is the first signing of somebody who somebody has actually suggested from the audience so let's do this special moment first signing signed player this is exactly what we need guys. So this is why it's going to be a bit of a struggle keeping Chris Smalling into the first team. If we are going to be signing players like this into the squad, can Smalling keep his spot and keep consistent? We're just going to have to see. But up to now, we have a pretty strong pair up to go up against Aston Villa, our next opponents, with Smalling and Laporte in the first team. The Sergio Roberto, Sergi Roberto, I keep on saying Sergio, Sergi Roberto um, inquest has been responded to by Barcelona and they have said they want 10 million. So we're just going to wait for that scouting to come through to see what rating he actually is in game. Um, and then if he is a high enough rating for 23 years old, uh, we'll have to see and even it up if 10 million is good value. Guys, I almost forgot as well. Sorry, I am missing a few things because I'm a bit not with it trying to remember whereabouts we were in the career mode. As I told you, we filmed 30 minutes worth, so this is all a bit confusing where we're up to. But as you can see, we did actually put in an offer for the right winger, Julian Brand, because somebody had suggested him on Twitter. I can't remember who exactly suggested that. I believe it was one of my friends. So I don't need to flash them up because, you know, they didn't ask to be flashed up. But one of my friends off Twitter did actually inbox me and say, I've been watching this career mode and make sure to sign this very, very young and very high potential rated youngster of Julian Brand. I believe I'm saying that right, but I could be saying it wrong. So we're just going to know him as Julian for now. So we're going to up this price tag and we're going to offer 22 million instead of 20 million because they're asking for 26, but I believe we can get him for around 22. So hopefully we can sign that guy and we've got that right winger future covered up 
very well. Schalke have come back as well with an offer of 22 million saying that's how much they want for Leon Goretzka. We're going to hold on to this and I'm not too sure whether we want to sign him just yet but I'm just going to keep him here for the time being. The inquiry underneath is for Hector Bellerin. Guys, it's not good news. They're saying that they're not happy with the inquiry and he's recently just moved, so they're not looking for him to move. So we're just going to have to leave the Hector Bellerin. Inaki Williams, uh, Atletico Bimbo, Atletico Bimbo, Atletico Bilbo, have come back with a 13 million offer. So I'm actually going to go back in and with this, we're going to offer a round. I know it might seem scrimpy, but guys, we want to save as much back as we possibly can. And we're going to offer maybe 9 million. I think 9 million is a decent amount. So we're going to offer 9 million for a Naki Williams. Then, of course, we have the Harry Kane. Harry Quinn? Harry Kane inquiry of 34 million, guys, they've quoted us. I think we're going to go in and see if we can get this guy, but... Whether it's going to go through, we'll have to see. So, guys, I'm going to start off relatively low. I believe with a bid of around 20, let's say 24 million, I think, is a decent amount. See what they say to that. And if they go through with it, then I think that's a pretty good deal for a 22-year-old English young striker. Let's see that. Oh, of course, as well, guys, I'm forgetting everything. We actually put an inquiry in for Donald... Um, Real Donald in Bolo last episode when it all got corrupt again. Um, and they're actually quoting us 19 million, but we're actually just going to put in for about 14 million and see what they say back to that. He's a very good and young overall uh, striker, very similar to Lukaku in the way he plays. Um, and actually possibly has a higher potential overall because he is much younger and is showing true quality for Basel at the moment in real life. So guys, a scouting uh, report has come through on Fabinho and they're just going to tell us what rating he is. And as you can see, he's 78 rated at 21 years old. It is pretty good rating for a 21 year old, but whether we're going to waste around the 50 million margin of money on him, it's a very, very big Gamble, seeing as though he is a right back and might not actually help us that much. And there actually is a transfer offer from Michael Carrick. Guys, we have got a very crowded midfield at the moment. We've got around two or three spots that need to be taken up at once in the formation that we're using. But, oh, I think I'm going to have to sell Michael Carrick. I'm going to go in high at the moment. I'm going to go in with a deal of three. I'm going to counter offer, sorry, 3.3 million back to them. Seeing as though his value is only 2.4. Whether they're going to go through with this, we'll have to see. But it'll be a very good deal if they do go through with this at 3.3. So guys, more scouting updates have come through and a few more messages. A final update on Briel Mbolo. He is 18 years old and he is 76 rating. What a very good rating for an 18 year old that is. Around the same rating, I believe, as... Same age and same rating as Yuri Tielmans. So I don't know if he can, but I'm pretty sure that means that he could be on the way to getting a plus 90 potential overall. That is very, very good rating and what we like to see in this team. Then another update on Harry Kane has come through, so we're just going to check this guy's rating. Before I check it, I'm just going to say, if he isn't into the 80 rating, around the 81 or 82 mark then I'm possibly going to ebb off him because I want some true, true quality coming into this team. Um, or young potentials, should I say. So let's have a look. And he's 81. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. We're actually just going to keep on to him then and see if we can get possibly Harry Kane into this squad. Werder Bremen have come back to me with a counter offer of 2.5 million. Now that is above his value, but I think we can even get a bit more from them for Michael Carrick. So we're going to go in with... 2.9 million. Let's see what they say back to that. Atletico Bilbao have accepted for uh, Inaki Williams and as this was a signing from one of your guys suggestions, I think we're going to go ahead and try and get him as well. So we want 60,000 per week four year contract and we're going to say he is a squad rotation player. He might not like that but if he doesn't like that then we'll go back and say he'll be an important player. Let's see what he says to this. So guys, match day has come around and this is officially our second game of the season but we're going to treat this like it is our first game because as I told you many times before, I'm very, very, very upset about it but our first game was actually corrupt footage. So we're going to get into this but I'm just going to quickly show you the squad. So as you can see, the squad we're going to be going for this game is going to be a lineup of on the bench Romario, Romario, sorry, Blind, Schweinsteiger, Janazai, Rashford, Damian and Juan Mata on the bench. Then in net we have De Gea, 
Uh, the defence is Luke Shaw, Smalling, Laporte, Varela, uh, Schneidlin, Tielmans and Rooney in the midfield. And then the attack consists of Depay, Martial and Valencia. So guys, the game is underway and now I'm going to just cut to the highlights that are going to be going on in this game. Oh, come on guys, come on. We can't be conceding a goal this game. This is Emmerich Laporte's... Oh my days! As I was saying, this is Emmerich Laporte's debut for Manchester United, so we want to be keeping a clean sheet for the sake of his reputation. Come on, get it out, guys. Guys, don't do this. Knock it out. No! Oh my god! Are you serious? Are you serious? What is this? Is that... Who is that? Is that Bakuna? Why does it look like... Is that number 19... Oh no, it's IU, of course. Oh, number 19. Oh, guys. Oh, it's awful. Guys, we can't do this. Four minutes in, and we're already 1-0 down to a Jordan IU goal. Come on. Oh, nice skill. Nice skill. Nice skill to face. Come on. Oh, what a goal. Coming straight back at you. As Spencer FC would say, that is a swift reply. Hashtag it. But we are not Spencer FC, so we don't say that. But Memphis to pay. Oh, my goodness. Five minutes in, we've got a goal back. I don't know what kind of goal that was. Is that a finesse? I didn't, I, I didn't mean to do that. But still, a very, very nice goal from the edge of the box. And that is showing true quality. Coming back from 1-0 down, back to 1-1. Come on, we can do this. On to Martial. 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 Oh, skills from Martial. Get around him. Oh, Martial. Oh, Martial. Oh, Martial. Back round, Rooney. Go on. Yes! That is what I like to see, guys. Another goal. This is what I expected from World Class. I expected us to be a little bit better than this. We've scored three goals. Three goals have been scored in this game so far, ten minutes in. Guys, I would be loving this if I was watching it on Match of the Day because it's highlights galore. It's an absolutely fantastic goal by the captain, Wayne Rooney. Look at that off his left peg. Beautiful, beautiful goal. Go on, Smalling. Close him down. No, Smalling. De Gea, get on that. De Gea! You could have caught that. Go on, Martial. Go on, on the break. Drop it through to Rooney. Rooney on the ball. Over the top. To Valencia. Valencia, you can get that. No! Tielmans. Head it out. Oh, no. Oh, get it out. Get it out. No! What defending is this? Morella! Oh, nice save by De Gea, guys. It's so hard to defend. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's this controller. I think it's probably me over the controller. Typical FIFA excuses. Get it out, Smalling. Smalling, that was all Smalling's fault. Inzogbia, come on, somebody get on it. Oh, nice. Nice, Tielmans. Oh, what a tackle by Tielmans then, guys. An essential tackle. Oh, no. Luke Shaw, what a tackle by Luke Shaw. Get it out. Jordan Ayew, somebody stop him, pull back, don't push in too much, oh nice tackle by Schneidlin, oh another nice tackle by Schneidlin, get in there lads, I'm getting a hang of this defending a bit more, I think, I oh no, oh, out of nowhere the cross, fantastic save by De Gea again, definitely, definitely a contender for man of the match so far, look at that save, keep calm, keep calm, Keep calm, keep calm, get it out, nice Barella, stay calm guys, stay calm, nice defending by Schna- what? Was that? Is he giving- yeah, um, uh, I'm not sure what happened then, let's watch the replay, Schneidlin kind of throws him to the floor, was that, was that yellow? I wouldn't say that was a yellow in my opinion, but FIFA will do what FIFA will do. Oh, what a through pass. Go on. Tielmans, he dribbles round one. He shoots. Oh, no. It would have been beautiful. <laughs> well, we've not kept that clean sheet, so the only thing I can say we do is get a goal for Laporte. Oh, Valencia with a header. So, guys, we've come to the halfway point, and as you can see, it's two goals for us. Five shots, on uh, five shots overall, five on target, so pretty good consistency overall. We've had less percent of possession overall, six tackles and no fouls. Uh, not many stats up here, as you can see, and then one corner. 
Uh, our shot accuracy has been 100% and our pass accuracy is 71. So we definitely, definitely need to work on that passing game if we do need to work on anything at all. So guys, we have just swapped on Juan Mata for Valencia. Valencia was looking a bit tired, so we did the sub and uh, fingers crossed it pays off. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Varela is a pretty good defender with his feet, but when it comes to the heading game, guys, he is a bit short. I'm not too sure how tall he is. Uh, I'm going to check that now. So, yeah, as I mentioned, he's 5'7", so this guy is absolutely tiny. He's, he's bordering on dwarf, guys, this guy. Uh, pretty good defender, like I said, with his feet, but we're possibly going to sub him out because that heading game seems to be a real big aspect of Val uh, Valencia's game, I nearly said. Aston Villa's game, sorry. So, we'll probably swap him out for Damien roundabout now. Rooney, go on, crack it. Martial! Oh, what was that, Martial? What was that? The sub is being made. Damien's coming on for Varela. I'm sorry, but I had to do it from a tactical standpoint of view. Tackle. One matter. Oh! Ref! That's what we like to see. Right, so we're going to go with the set-piece specialist. And who is our set-piece specialist? Actually, looks like it is going to be Depay. Of course it is. So come on, Depay, for your first goal under my management at Manchester United. Let's see if we can get it. I want it perfect. I'm going to go about here. Oh, over the wall. Oh, and it's over the crossbar. Oh, no. The counter-attack is on. Get that tackle in there. Oh, perfect. We're going for the other counter-attack, the back counter-attack. Is that a thing, back counter-attack? I'm not too sure. If a team counter-attacks, then you counter-attack their counter-attack. Is that a thing? I don't know. Go on. Go on, chase him down. Nice, Damian. That's why we put you in. Guys, I, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm impressed with some of this defending I am doing. Oh, oh, the overlap. Oh, the cross. Hit it, Martial. What are you doing? And that is game, guys. Fantastic, fantastic game. All the goals came in the first 10 minutes. Pretty unusual game. Look at that. Oh, I hate headers. Really do. Typical that their one goal came from across. I don't even know what that goal was by Depay. But then Rooney came in and he showed him how to do it. Pretty similar positions. Two very good goals. And finally... We've actually got a win. So guys, Tottenham have actually come back to our offer of 24 million for Harry Kane and accepted it. I do think this is a pretty good deal as he is an English striker and he's got a lot of potential and he's a very, very good quality player. What he's like to play with on Ultimate Team, I've not played with him on Ultimate Team so I don't know. And what he's like to play with in career mode, I don't know again. So fingers crossed we can sign him. I'm going to put him up as an important player and I might not sign him this career mode. I might let you guys decide. I'll stall the deal if he accepts. And I'll let you guys decide in the comment section below whether you want to sign Harry Kane. Bayern 04 have come back, or Bayern Leverkusen, and said that the sum that we have offered for Julian is not enough. We need to offer more. We offered 22 million, but we're going to offer 24, as I have been told that this guy has great, great potential. As you can see, Basil have come back. They have come back, guys, and they have said that they want a bit more for Briel Mbolo. And I don't think 19 million is what we're going to go for. I think we're going to go 60 million. I feel like if we inch up 2 million at a time, we will get him for a bit cheaper. So I think that's worth it. Guys, the scout report has come through on Julian. Oh, what is he going to be? He's 74 rated at 19 years old. Is that worth the money? I thought it was going to be a lot higher than that from the hype that I'd heard about him. If you know a bit more on this guy, I do believe he does go up to about an 88 rated, but... He's not really going to be able to play many games for us if he stays that 74 rated. I don't know guys, I'm a bit torn at the moment. I don't know whether to go for this Julian or to go and just sign Anaki Williams. I might hold off on both deals and let you guys decide down below who you want to see me sign. I believe that Anaki Williams is about 76 but he is 21 years old. And then I do believe that that brand or Julian brand um, is actually three years younger I think he's three years younger and only two ratings lower so it's completely up to you but for now I'm going to stall this deal and I'm also going to stall the Julian Brand one and let you guys decide in the comment section below another scout has come through on Victor Andrade and this is going to be the scout up on him he's 72 rated at 19 years old so guys 
once again, a pretty good young upcoming talent, but as I mentioned before, we can't sign him just yet. But it's good to know what his rating is at the moment. Ooh. Werder Bremen, is that Werder Bremen? Yeah, Werder Bremen have actually matched just under what we asked for. We asked for 2.9, they've come back with a counter offer of 2.8. So we're going to accept this and we're going to submit this. It is a bit of a shame to see Michael Carrick go, uh, but you know, with the stake of this career mode, we want to be getting rid of the old, bringing in new, and getting Manchester United back to the winning ways of Champions League glory and title winning glory so let's carry on so guys match day has come around and this is our game against Swansea so as you can see this is going to be the lineup we're going with I don't want to run through it I just want to get straight into the game but yeah that's the lineup just to let you know let's get into the game so guys this game is taking place at the Liberty Stadium Swansea's home ground so fingers crossed it's another away game but hopefully we can win oh no Keep him out. Nice tackle, Schweinsteiger. Come on, down the wing, Juan Mata. Dribble through. Oh, nice dribble. Nice dribble. Cross it in. Oh, the other Andre brother could score against us here. Nice tackling by Damian. Oh, over the top. On to Ander Herrera. Don't cross it. Oh! Penalty. Nice, we got a penalty. Let's have a look. Oh, silly tackle in the penalty box, guys. It's going to be a penalty for us. Who are we going to have take it? I'm going to decide now. I've decided to go with Anthony Martial taking it as he is the youngster of the squad and he is our main striker. So, fingers crossed we can get Anthony Martial. Anthony Martial, Anthony Martial. Uh, Martial, his first goal under my reign, I believe it is. Let's see. We're going top left. Oh! Alrighty then. Oh, he's been saved. No. No. Fabianski, you monster. Not to matter. Matter on the ball, come on, get on it, nice. Dribble back through. Matter, oh, what was that? It was a P-roll, absolute P-roll. If Fabianski is going to save a penalty, he's going to save that P-roll. Juan Matter keeping the ball, go on, no. Is that a free kick? Free kick to us. What? Eh, I'm sorry. What is going on? No, oh, what a free kick by Papa Timvi Gomis. We could have seen that Panther celebration then, guys. Let's watch this again. Oh, what a free kick. Pinpoint precision. I don't know if that came off the bar or De Gea. Yep, came off De Gea, guys. Smalling. No, Smalling, you went in too soon. Oh, great recovery by Smalling. Go on, Smalling. Play him out. Oh, great defending then by Smalling. Oh, what a goal, guys. I went silent because I was try-harding, but an awful, awful pass from the right back. And that ends in an Anthony Martial goal. Schweinsteiger nicked it in the pass. The goalkeeper came out. He tapped it onto Martial. Great control, as usual. And then let's watch it. Oh, skills, skills. The sliding goal. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Very, very well played by Bastian then to get round the goalkeeper. It's pretty hard to do that in this FIFA, so fantastic, fantastic play from the lad. Oh, great through ball to Rooney. Rooney dribbles back. Rooney on the ball still. Rooney on the ball still. Oh, he's knocked off the ball by Taylor. The stats are in, as you can see. We've had one goal so far, two shots on target, two shots overall, and pretty much the same for them, apart from they have not got a goal. As usual, they've got better pass accuracy and better percentage of the ball. That's something that we need to work on. We're all right. We're covered shooting. We just need to get better at passing, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Unwrap my controller. Oh, no. Oh, nice defending by Smolin again. Classic, classic Chris Smolin defending here. Get it out, get it out. No, Montero, no. Oh, what a save by De Gea. That was a fantastic, fantastic shot. Just going to watch the replay again of that. Comes out. Nobody defending it. Oh, that was going in as well. Oh, oh it could have been beautiful. No. Oh, the shot from Rooney then, guys. Rippling the crossbar. No, 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 no. Oh. De Gea again with a clinical, clinical save. Clinical save? Is that a thing? A clinical save? Look at this save. A meaningful save, should I say. Come on, Rooney, take a pop. 
Oh, just wide. Oh, his mouth went a bit weird then, like showing his black gums. <laughs> but oh, another shot again. Oh, so close, yet so far. Rooney, on to Martial. Martial, oh, up to Damien. Damien, oh, the P roll has come back again. <laughs> 1-0, Martial, it was a good goal, and we missed a penalty with him, but he managed to redeem himself with a nicely tucked sliding goal, Bastian dribbles round, oh Martial, that was the only game of the goal of the game, sorry, um, but yeah guys, I'm going to leave this episode here, and if you have enjoyed it, be sure to show me a like, if you're new to this, subscribe, and there's three topics that I want you to discuss in the comment section below, those topics are, who should we sign, who we need to sign, uh, possibly and potentially good young talent is what we're looking for or just high rated players that are pretty cheap that we can get into the squad and help build the squad up. Um, number two is who should we sign out of Julian Brand, uh, the youngster who is 19 years old and 74 rated or Inaki Williams who is 21 years old and 76 rated. Um, and yeah, who else should we sign? That, that's pretty much it. So yeah, it's two topics. So yeah, get that down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Drakesy. See you in a bit.